Shalom Israel. Our praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone who rule well, and a sincere salutation to the Akim out there pushing the truth over the four corners of the earth. I'm going to do a little short video. Only the elect of Israel shall have salvation. Not Edom, not Moab, not Ammon, not Ham. None of the Hamites, no seed of Ham. Only Israel. First verse I'm going to get into to show you that the Lord only gave his judgment, law, statue, and commandments to Israel through Moses. Okay? Yahweh only passed down his covenant to the house of Israel through Moses. Verse, first verse, Leviticus 26, 46. Leviticus 26, 46. These are the statutes and judgment and laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. The children of Israel. No other nation. It's Deuteronomy 32. Start at verse 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. He kept him as the apple of his eye. He kept Jacob in the house of Israel, the apple of his eye. It's Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. For the Lord Yahweh thy power has chosen thee to be a special people. Unto him above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. Okay. He chose Israel to be a holy people, a special people, the apple of his eye. It's Psalms 147. We'll start at 19. It reads, He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgment, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh. He showed his statue and his judgment, his laws and commandments to Jacob. Okay, and his twelve sons, the Israelites. It's Amos 3, Amos 3 and verse 1. It said, Hear these words that the Lord Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt saying you only did you hear that saying you only have I known of all the families of the earth therefore I will punish you for all your inequities so that's why we got the curse put on us 
because he gave us his covenants, only us, the Israelites, and we broke them. So he punishing us. Like a father do his child when he do wrong, when he get out of line, that's what Yahweh did to us. We still get it. Okay? That's how you know only the house of Israel, the apple of his eye, he gave us the covenants, we broke them, so he chastising us. He chastening us. Good. No other nation. Only Israel needs salvation. But only Israel was oppressed. None of you other nation, none of you other heathen was oppressed. You in your life. You in your heaven. We in our hell. So Israel needs saved. No other nation. Israel was the only nation that was put down for their wickedness. So the Lord is chastising us through the wickedness of you other heathens. So he let y'all come up over us. Jeremiah 51, start at verse 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them. Not like who? You heathen nation. Edom, Moab, Ammon, Ham, Hamites. None of you sees a ham. For he is the form of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord Yahweh of hosts is his name. Thou art my battle, my battle axe and weapons of war. Yahweh say, We are his battle axe, weapons of war. In the last day, he's going to raise us up. Take you heathen down. And all you want that do be left, you want a captivity. Somebody got to rebuild the kingdom. Read that again. Jeremiah 51 20. There are my battle acts and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. All you heathen nations, all you nations, gonna get broken in pieces. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. So you who goes on, so you who's on the horse, you servants, while princes are walking on the earth, you're gonna get broken in pieces. Your chariots. And your riders gonna get broken pieces. Okay. Matthew ten verse five. These twelve Yahweh shall send forth and command them, saying. Go not in the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritan, enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay? To the lost sheep of the house of Israel. It's Matthew 15 and 24. But Yahweh shall answer and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay? He ain't coming back for you other heathen nations, man. Why are you talking about the Lord came back for the whole world? You don't understand what world mean. That word world mean cosmos. Order arrangement. Returning to his people. A certain family of people. 
not you heathens, the Israelites. It's Acts 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shah, shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words, Yahweh Shah of Nazareth, a man approved of power among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which power did by him in the midst of you. As you yourselves also know, you men of Israel shall be saved. No other nations. Let me read Acts 6, verse 8. Um, John 4 and 22 read that John 4 and 22 This when the woman came to the well. It said, Woman, believe me, the hour will come when you shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for our salvation is of the Jews. This in red, so this Yahweh shall talk, okay? Now, everybody on that, John 3.16, for he's son, his only begotten son. Listen, everybody know that verse. John 3.16. John 3.16. The word world is talking about cosmos. Order arrangement pertaining to the apple of his eye, Israel. Not you other nations. People got to get that through your head. So when you read Isaiah 45 and 17, it tell you who the world is pertaining to. Isaiah 45 and 17 breaks down with who that is talking about. Isaiah 45 and 17 it said, But Israel shall be saved in the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, with an everlasting salvation. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed nor confound world without end. Israel, okay? Israel, no other nation. The apple of the Lord's eye, the apple of the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, I is Israel. Okay? It's another verse. It's John 17 and 9. It say, I pray, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. That's talking about the rest of the world, you heathens. 
I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. He prayed not for the world. He prayed for Israel, whom Yahweh has given him. Okay? 17 to John 17 and 9. I pray for them. Who is them? The Israelites. The apple of his eye. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Okay, this Romans 9, start at verse 1. Now, this Paul talk, okay? Paul. A lot of so-called Christians say they love Paul. You no, know, Paul is... Okay, well, Paul said this. I say the truth in Hamashiach. I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continuous sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were the curse from Hamashiach for my brethren. My kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertain the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law. What covenants? In the Old Testament, all the way to this New Testament. The covenants, the laws, statutes, judgments, and commandments. From the beginning to the end of time. We must follow to the best of our ability. Who was the covenants given to? The Israelites. Okay. In the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. Who are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Hamashiach came. Who is over all power blessed forever amen okay as it was written jacob have i loved okay as it was written jacob have yahweh why yahweh shall love no other nation okay going on okay this is Romans 9 verse 26 it say and it shall come to pass that in that place where it was said unto them ye are not my people there shall they be called the children of the living God. Esaias also cried concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved, which is the elect. Only a remnant of Israel shall be saved. Okay, even as this say, this Romans 9 and 6, not as though the word of power had taken none effect, but they are all not all Israel, so it, but they are not all Israel which are of Israel, neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Are they all children? But in Isaac shall thy seed be called the chosen elect out of Israel. Because two thirds got to be put to death. The Lord from the described two thirds 
of his children. Okay? This wrong did this like this second Corinthians eleven and twenty two. It's Paul speaking now. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. This is for Israel. This ain't for you heathen nations. This is for Israel. Okay, Israel. I'm going to read a little bit of this. Joel 3, start at 1. For behold, in those days, in that time, when, shall, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them, tell me all these heathen nations, and I will bring them down in the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. This is my point. It's talking about Israel, okay? Whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. You scatter Israel. You heathens, all you heathen nations. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they may drink. It's what you wickedness did to our people, you wicked heathens. But I just want to do this little short little video about the chosen people of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah and who shall be saved the elect of Israel the whole Israel shall be saved on this side only elect on the other side the whole to all the twelve try everybody. But two thirds of you wicked Israel, you Israelites gotta die on this side. So only let gonna be saved. And you gotta come back as little babies all over again. Cause your wickedness, the Lord already gave you a uh, reprobate, um, condemned mind, so you're gonna stay doing what you're doing. Until you destroy this place. So. Only the elect shall be saved. Only Israel. Not Edom. Not Ammon. Not Moab. Not the Philistines. Not the Egyptians. None. No other nation. None of you Kemet, none of you uh, false doctrine believers, none of you religions, because religion is man-made, okay? If I'm not mistaken, Constantine pushed their religion on all the nations. And our people wicked. Instead of waking up early, going to church on Sunday, till nightfall, till wine and flame you. And they ain't talking about drinking wine, they're talking about the philosophies. You're stuck in your wickedness. So, only the elect, the 
for Israel shall be saved. The rest of you will come back in the kingdom, you wicked one. But who is the apple of Yahweh? Bahashem Yahweh Shai? Israel, the Israelites, the twelve sons of Jacob. Okay? That's my whole point of this video. You heathens ain't coming to the kingdom. Oh yeah, for to be slaves. But somebody got to rebuild the kingdom. Somebody got to do all the work. Okay? You wicked heathens. You in your heaven. This is our hell. But soon, it's going to be our heaven. Because Esau is the end of this. And Jacob is the beginning or the next. So I just want to say our praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles and the elders who with me up to this truth, who rule well, who teach well, and the sincere citation. To the author pushing this truth over the four corners of this earth while they let get sealed. Shalom.